brings us to the last option on our test car, the Sport Exhaust System, with tailpipes in silver for $2,450. We'd recommend it, not so much for the louder exhaust note when its flaps open, but for the improved character of the resulting sound. We took to pressing the button every time we got in the car just to tweak the most objectionable flatulent tones out of the low RPM exhaust note in around town use. Even at its loudest, the new car measures a 4 dB quieter at wide open throttle and 1 dB less at a 70 mph cruise than did our long-term car with its similar option. Reducing cylinder count and turbocharging will always change the engine sound in ways enthusiasts don't love, ask any Formula 1 fan about the latest generation cars, so we must be forgiven for this fine wine. But it's an essentially pointless argument. Ignore those itching to pick a fight with, it just doesn't sound like a Porsche. Drive a 718 Cayman S for 3 minutes and there's no question it's a Porsche. So that noise you hear? That's what this Porsche sounds like. It's not as if some treasured heritage rests solely in the sound of six cylinders deployed pancake fashion. The 944 and 968 turbos were four-cylinder forced induction Porsches, the 356, 914, and 912 were flat fours. If a 911 doesn't sound like a 928 that doesn't sound like a KN, so what? Did Derek Bell climb out of his 962C after winning the 1987 24 hours of L.E. Mans and complain that it just didn't sound as sweet as the 917 he'd driven in 1971? No, he did not. Because he was about getting on down the road. And, uh, he had earplugs. Just get in the car and drive the wheels off the thing, already.